It's a huge motivator for the teachers. And the teachers look forward to coming. Bounce off ideas with each other. Inspire each other. We are more focused. We found that extra time very useful. Sharing resources is a big plus. We'll come together to give each other that support we need. We get to share ideas and strategies. It's helped our scores go up. And it's all for the benefit of kids. It's a no-brainer. Here at Linwood Unified, we started guided planning about seven years ago when we put in place the data reflection session as a follow-up. So teachers would look at data, desegregate the data, look at subgroups, and then that was the next step. What do we do with all this information now that we know it? Guided planning has made a huge change in the practice of our teachers. In the beginning, they didn't want to leave the classroom. Now, they have deemed guided planning as central to advancing student achievement. And I think that's what differentiates us from a lot of districts, is that we give our teachers plenty of time to get together and you know, plan, design lessons, and prepare for our students. And I think we're seeing the better results from that. Um, and our data is showing that, that our kids continue to achieve better. And I, and I think guided planning is one of the main reasons why. Our vision at Linwood Unified School District is that every child can achieve and I believe that having collaboration where you have district-wide you know, teachers working together so that they're doing the same stuff, sharing data, uh, sharing techniques, you know, whatever's working for one that isn't working for another, you know, and they can really pinpoint it based on the data. What well, Guided Planning has allowed me to learn from Ms. Barrientos and our other teammate is the teaching styles amongst the three of us are very different, but there are, there are things that they do that I would have never thought to do myself in the room. Oftentimes, I'll find that I'm more successful when I'm bringing in their ideas and combining them with my own. When we first heard about the guided uh, planning sessions, we were very concerned. Because of the demands of the SBAC, we thought that having the kids out of the classroom for an hour and a half each week would be detrimental to their learning. But as time went by, we found it to be very helpful and very useful. When the teachers go to guided planning, they release their students to credentialed teachers provided by Think Together, in which they provide 100 minutes of PE, state required minutes for each grade level. The kids love Think Together. When I get here on campus, they're like, is this my PE session today? And I can definitely see a lot of team building, the kids working together socially. Um, I can see them becoming more physically active. I guess my favorite part of Think Together is the exercise, the running and the playing. We have different things to do over here. Yes, we make friends while we play together. We help each other win and we work as a team. Our students are benefiting from the guided planning instructionally but also um, physically. Think Together helps me when I go back to the classroom because we have already bonded with our friends so when we go back to class we're not everywhere because we already had our time to play so we have more time to learn we focus these are all of our kids and that we all have a collective responsibility to do the very best that we can to support every single one of these young ladies and gentlemen to make sure that they have the best education possible and therefore when one of our colleagues at a different school site or a different department is doing a better job of supporting students and students are responding well to that lesson, we all benefit from that. And we can take pride knowing that collectively, we all made that happen.